Hey buddy, uh, Crow here, and I was kind of up in the air on whether I'd make a video on this or not, but I did get one of these arcade one-up countercades. I posted it and put it in the community post, and somebody asked if I was going to make a video out of it or not, and I was like, I, I really don't know, but you know what, I got a little bit of time right now. I actually got this a couple days ago, and the reason I bought this is because I was kind of notified on Twitter and, and the like. In fact, the, I think there was a community post by uh, P Dubs Arcade Loft who posted this originally, and that's where I saw that this was up on uh, Walmart's website for sale for $49. And of course, when you order uh, something like that, I think it's like 35, 30 or 35 on Walmart's website, uh, and you ship it for delivery, delivery's free as well. Uh, it's mar it was marked down from $129.99, and I couldn't see myself buying one of these for that price. But for 50 bucks, I figured I'd give it a shot. I was kind of I even thought about it for like a day, uh, but of course by the end of uh, the week and or even the beginning of the next week or whatever. Last time I checked, they were all sold out. So you know what? Um, might as well we'll just unbox this and. Um, and look at it. I mean, I've never had, I've, I've got plenty of arcade one up, the standard ar arcade one ups. I don't have one of these car arcades, so let's uh, unbox it. I was kind of wondering how this was supposed to open because there was like no obvious way. I wonder if the, no, not the bottom, but I did get the top open here. <laughs> I got some uh, manuals in here. And uh, yeah, usually if you're wondering, I do put this piece of like uh, wood table like on top of my Mr. and Mrs. Pac-Man so I could use it like a table whenever I need to. Um, I want to get a couple more of those so I could do it on the other as well. But it looks like we got ourselves an AC adapter. Um, so that's good. Um, not USB. I was wondering if I'd be able to plug this into like a USB um, like a computer or something like that, but no, um, we do get a standard adapter. And, um, yeah. What else? Oh, I was like, something plopped out of there. Big pack of silicone gel. We'll toss that away. Um, and I think this thing is actually pretty hefty. And it, it was actually pretty, um, it was bigger than I was expecting it to be. I've seen these before, but I've seen them in Target, and I only seen the Pac-Man one before, and I think this is like the updated model of it from those original ones. Um, so we'll get that out of the way. There's squeaky styrofoam. <laughs> um, there was nothing else in there. But yeah, these things, unlike the full-sized arcade one-up cabinets, are... Um, are pre-made, so there's really, you don't have to put anything together, but it looks like I could take it apart if I want. It looks like they've got the screws all in there and everything. But um, yeah, I think we just gotta peel this off here. Look at this, this is, I might have to take this panel off. And you know what, it's that not, maybe not a bad idea to do anyway, just to see what's under there. Uh, and maybe I'll have to take this part off too. <laughs> This piece can't, it's like it's holding the two sides together. I don't know if I'll be able to slide this out exactly. And I'm right, I can't slide this out exactly. <laughs> oh man, I don't wanna have to take this whole thing apart just for this part. Oh, okay. So one of the reasons I was on the fence about this is because one of the arcade one-up cabinets I already have is a Galaga. But that one has Galaga and Galaxian in it. And I found out that the two games in here are Galaga and Galaga 88. If it had Galaga and Galaxian in this one as well, I probably would not have bought this. But since it did have Galaga 88, I figured, ah, it's a little bit different. Why not? <laughs> also, I don't exactly have a place to put this. Um, so I'm thinking maybe once I can get back in and we, I start working from the office again, which I'm still not doing. Oh, this wasn't even tightened down all the way. It didn't seem like it. It was kind of loose. So maybe I'm, I should really go around and make sure all the rest of the screws are tight. But if I pull this off, let's see what we got under here. Let's get this. I'll grab the camera here. It's just, well, man, don't you hate it when you have those plastic pieces and they just stick to your... Uh, stick to your uh, uh, hands and stuff, like they don't want to leave. But just, just to give you an idea of what's under here, there we go. 
it's really not dissimilar from what is in a um, regular arcade one-up cabinet. So while I have this up, you might as well get a good look of what's under there. And I will actually set the camera back and uh, screw this back in. All right, got this all put back together. I'm gonna find a place to plug this in and we'll take a look at it. All right, actually, before I plug it in, I, I realize you didn't see the back of it. This is the back of it. It looks pretty much exactly like the back of a, of a regular size, which is three quarter size <laughs> arcade one up machine. Even has the same little plug thing dongle at the end there. So that's where we plug it in. So let's turn this around and power it up. Let's take this little A off sticker off the uh, panel. And let's see what we got. Loading. So it does work in fact. Arcade one up. And I could already tell that by looking at it on an angle, you're getting the colors washed out and everything. And I already knew that before I went into this. But um, yeah, we got our game selection. Galaga and Galaga 88. And uh, yeah, it does have the, uh, where you've got the uh, volume control. I don't know if you can see that volume. <laughs> In fact, you know what? I should probably just take the camera off of the tripod and so you could get a better look. And I'm using the term camera lightly because this is just really a, uh, <laughs> my cell phone on a almost what is like a selfie stick pretty much, except it's, you could turn it into a tripod as well. But there we go. See, if you turn, get to the corner there, you, you can see all the colors get, get washed out. But yeah, this is the, um, not the oldest set of arcade one-ups where it's like it had the three levels off low and high, but yeah, you can clearly move it back and forth. Let me, let me get my, um, let's see here. There's a speaker underneath there. Nice side art there. It was kind of tough to tell if you're looking at this without turning it on. Sorry, I'm moving the microphone too, so you're gonna hear some maybe <laughs> bumps or whatever, I don't know. Uh, yeah, very professional today. I'm just kind of winging it. And um, yeah, so you can see the other side, it's the same artwork. And then of course the back. Why not? You know, <laughs> mess around. So this is pretty loud. Um, maybe I shouldn't have it that loud. It is right by the microphone. But yeah, Galaga. I'll play, try to play one-handed, because why not? And you know what? I'll set, wait, you know what? I don't need to play one-handed. This is a tripod, just as like I said. Let me set that up here. I did a little bit of messing around, turned all the lights off. This is the best I could get at. But I'm sure you know about Galaga. I mean, we got our, let's, uh, We'll play one level of this, I suppose, and we'll jump over to Galaga 88. Maybe a little bit louder on the volume. But yeah, this is indeed Galaga, and it's a nice size. Yeah, I'm sure you're all pretty familiar with Galaga. I mean, the buttons feel exactly like arcade one-up buttons. They're not the greatest, but again, the way they're made, it, they're easy to interchange out with something better if you want. Whoa! <laughs> okay, take my ship, please. All right, what ready? Gotcha. Yeah, it's a nice little size. I'm not gonna complain at all for 50 bucks. And again, if modding this was something I really wanted to do, I could do that. There we go, one level just as promised. I think if we hold down player one, is that what takes us back? Yeah, there we go, we're back. Let's boot up Galaga 88, which was kind of the reason I bought this. Oh, there was something I was gonna point out with the joystick, I'll, I'll, I'll point that out after. Um, yeah, you're not seeing the colors very well. But uh, yeah, it, it, looks, it looks a lot better. <laughs> in uh, real life, to be honest. Not the greatest, not the greatest for sure. Oop, oh, I accidentally slick, oh well, duel's fine. But yeah, it's nice to have something a little differently. And again, this is easy enough to mod from what I've heard. Now, I don't think I'll mod this. But yeah, like I said, I think I'll take this to work when I can go back in the office and just leave it on my desk as kind of a novelty.
Galaga 88 with the fireworks. <laughs> but I wonder, why only two games? Why only two games? Why not throw Gal Galaxian in here as well? He could have Galaxian, Galaga, and um, Galaga 88. But let me turn the lights back on. I'm going to show you something. All right, so actually what I was going to point out, and I totally forgot, is this under here. Let's see if I can pick that up. Oh, my goodness. There we go. Um, yeah, it is two-way, so you really can't do four-way, but I remember... Oh, hang on a second. All right, I'd forgotten I had changed all the settings manually, so nothing was focusing in. So, um, yeah, if we're looking under here, I wonder if we can get a better view. You can see that it's only meant to go left and right. So if you did want to mod this and put, like, um, some other games in here, like Pac-Man or whatnot, you would have to replace this whole board or cut something so you can go up and down because you can't go up and down with the way this is so and that's the way it is on the uh, original galaga arcade one-up cabinet um but again it but on that one it seems to be like you less travel going up and down whereas on this one you can move it up and down it's just not going to register anything which is fine it, it only needs to go left and right but, oh, and the dog is tripping over my cables and cords, so I should probably finish this up before something falls over. But, um, yeah, for 50 bucks, not bad at all. I don't think I'll mod this at all. Again, just leave it at work. Hey, you know, I'm taking a break, a Galaga break. And that's all anybody ever needs, right? A Galaga break. So, uh, <laughs> thanks for watching this messed up video. I have no idea how I'm going to edit this, but I just kind of wanted to throw something together right quick. So, there you go. Thanks for watching. See you next time. And oh yeah, if you did like this video, go ahead and please give it a thumbs up. Thanks. Yes. You, what kind of screwdriver do you need? Phillips? You can talk. I'll just edit this part out. Oh, you need a... Uh, flathead. Okay. <sighs> Maybe I should leave that part in the video. <laughs>